Hey, I don't know how much you guys know about net cafes in the 2000s, but there was one right around the corner for me. And I used to spend a lot of time there. I believe the difference between this net cafe and the one you probably knew is that this one you could pay to play on consoles. And today we're talking about the PS1. Yes, again. One game that I always watched people play when I got there was this Jackie Chan game. And considering most people only paid to play about an hour there, I usually only saw them play the first few levels. But I could only remember one single level that had Jackie running away from a truck. I always felt like trying it, but the PS1 was so popular there that it was hard to get a place on the line. So I always ended up playing Counter Strike for a few hours. I believe the game fits in the weird nostalgia category, even though I never actually played it, but I have this weird nostalgia just by watching it. I guess it's something like the feeling you have when you remember PewDiePie playing Happy Wheels or something like that. Alright, one more son, don't fuck up! Dad, right in my asshole! Oh, so Jackie Chan Stuntmaster is a game developed by Radical Entertainment, which you might know from games like The Simpsons Hit or Run and Crash Tag Team Racing. It's basically a game where Jackie Chan beats everyone up all over New York. So yeah, this is a beat em up. And just so you know, I suck at beat em ups. Key. Our story begins with what? Jackie. Uh, but yeah, the story is basically Grandpa asking Jackie to deliver a package. Grandpa is soon kidnapped and Jackie goes after him. And that's your story. I have to say though, the cutscenes definitely have a Jackie Chan feeling to it, you know? Like you're watching Rush Hour, but without Chris Tucker. Isn't that your grandson? <laughs> huh? Look out! I'll start from the graphics on this one, because I joked about it, but I'm actually glad they went with this look for the characters. It definitely has some charm to it, and they weren't trying to make something realistic with it, which is probably for the best considering we're on the PS1 era. You have some pretty good lighting effects, and again, they really capture the feeling of the movies in the cutscenes. The levels look pretty good, but there's a lot of repetition during the playthrough. Like I went through this part and then you get to a maze-like building where you gotta pick the correct doors. And after I got to the top, I kept moving but I thought I was sent back to the beginning because it looked so similar. But yeah, there's a lot of parts that you go through thinking, wait, haven't I already been here? Besides that, you have five different areas, with three levels each. And while the levels look similar, the areas look way different than each other. You have levels in Chinatown, the waterfronts, the rooftops, the factory, and the sewers. Uh, wait, that's the wrong channel. Uh, whatever. Now, for the gameplay, it's actually pretty fun. In parts, going around beating up everyone is just extremely fun. You have buttons for punching, kicking, rolling, parrying, and grabbing. I didn't find much using for kicking besides the flying kick. And the game even tells you to try mixing between them, but anything I tried felt weaker than square, 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 square. There's some cool moves that you can do, like the wall backflip and this grab. And I was wondering how it looked so smooth. Well, the reason for that is that Jackie Chan himself did the motion capture for this game. You can actually unlock the behind the scenes by collecting golden dragons throughout the game. Or you can just watch it on YouTube like I did. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's way too many of them. And if you miss one, you gotta play the level all over again. Unless you have a checkpoint before that one, of course. But there's some of those that are way too easy to miss. You know, <clears throat> the game and the computer, you never get old. Then I can see myself on the computer for long, you know, for, you know, just stay on my age. I can get old, but the computer never get old.
While it feels good most of the time, the game can be pretty annoying later on. They added a good chunk of platforming in this game. Great idea, not that well executed. Because of the platforming, it gets extremely obvious how delayed the controls are. If this game was more popular as any other, people would put this level on list for the most infuriating levels ever. Jackie sometimes refuses to run at full speed and if you don't jump long enough, he'll hold to the side of the train. And that's an instant death from there. Besides those annoying parts, there are parts that you can run smoothly through the level. And that's sometimes an option. If you're good at platforming in this game, you can skip some of the sections by running away from enemies. And Jackie will even make fun of them while fleeing. Talking about talking. For some reason, later on in the game, the characters start talking like this. Don't hurt me, I'm fragile. How do you like it? I'm getting too old for this. I don't know why, but I thought I would point that out. As you heard, Jackie did the voice for his character too. And it's weird that he shares a lot of lines with the enemies in this game, which also share a lot of lines with each other. They repeat the same things over and over again. And even when they change voice actors, they still repeat some of the lines. I mean, come on, I know this is a budgety game, but couldn't you just think about anything else? They're basic enemies, so it didn't even have to be anything deep like her mom, but I guess it works, right? After all, we don't have much in terms of story anyway. The music isn't bad, but it's not memorable either. I can't really say they fit the levels, with some exceptions. But they do have that fighting soundtrack feel to them. I just don't feel like there's anything special besides the nostalgia I have for the first track. Oh, I also found this glitch. After you beat the last boss, which is probably the easiest too, you get a cutscene where Jackie straight up kills him. So he packs his stuff, gets into the truck, and drives away. I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but there's definitely no sequel to explain. Jackie Chan's Stuntmaster received average reviews with some criticism about it not being innovative, which is probably correct. It's still a fun time, and it can definitely kill a couple hours. Especially in that train part. But I honestly doubt that I'll come back to it anytime soon. But anyway, if you liked this video, leave a like. It really helps me a lot. And if you have any ideas for other games I should cover, let me know in the comments. I always try to answer them all. Oh, I'm not gonna take too much of your time this time. But thank you so much for 3000 subs. We were at 2000 last week and we keep growing pretty fast. So really, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.